What's the problem? Why aren't you working? Their kind work like one. If one is hurt, they all cannot work. And now they have one who is wounded, so they are all helpless. But the men do not want to help the wounded. They just want him back on the roof. Where's your hurt friend? I may be able to help him. Fortunately, this is beyond my skill level. Here, your friend's as good as new. Back to normal. Thank you. The man was very nice. They will go back to work now, and if they survive, will not forget what the man did for them. What the hell are you doing? Get back to work. You're putting a lot of lives at risk. They will die beneath the eye of Father's son if they go up to repair the roof. The man knows this, but does not care about them. Maybe you're too dumb to put it together. So let me spell it out for you, mutant. The roof needs to be fixed. By your kind. Now. We don't care how many of you die doing it, either. You don't want to go up and repair the roof? Fine. Your choice. We'll just send your children and your elderly. All those too weak to rebel with you. Then, we'll execute you. You'll all die anyway, and without even doing any good. That what you want? The man would send our children. The man is... They will go back to work. Leave our children be. Let's go. You can't just sit around while the city's exposed. Get back to work. They would, but their tools are too damaged to work. With bad tools, they will be in the eye of father's son longer and die quicker. I'll see what I can do. Let's go, you can't- They would, but- I'm not here for excuses. Get back to work. You had enough convincing? Ready to work again now? Yes. They will go back to work with their bad tools, which will make their work slower and deaths quicker. What does a man want? Just to talk to you. You need to go back to work. No, they will not. They will not die to go repair roofs broken by men. Men must find another way to fix it. Listen, I know it's dangerous work, and the odds are pretty high that some of you may die doing it. But if you don't, the whole city will suffer, and all of you in the pen will die. Not just a few. I know it's an enormous sacrifice to ask, but it's for the greater good. If the man tells them the truth, they have no choice. They will go back to work, to save the many. They wish the man would protect the city better in the future, so these sacrifices never have to happen again. Believe me, we're gonna try our best. 
The man must think about those going to die for him. Not forget what he asked of them. What they did. But now, they must go back to work. Oh, great. You're back. What do you want? I managed to stop the rebellion. The mutants should resume work soon. There's a bit of good news. Sure it wouldn't have ended so well without your help. I would have lost my job, so thank you. Make the slightest move, you're a dead man. You ain't wanted here, pal. Piss off! Come on, guys, let's get him! I heard you put an end to the smugglers' trafficking, Mr. Manser. I am disappointed. Why is that? My concern? Oh no, I simply admired the man. Not for the income he scraped from his beggar army, but rather for the pressure he managed to put on the merchants without lifting a finger. With that said, anything having to do with crime is my concern. Maybe you will remember the next time before you stick your fingers in my pies. Now tell me. What do you want? I just wanted you to know my services are available for a price. Hmm, interesting. A question, though. Is it really the pay you're after, Manser, or could it be the adrenaline? Those old graybeards at the source boring the living hell out of you yet? I don't remember inviting you into my business. If you need me, just pay. A technomancer for hire. A prize indeed. Who wouldn't need such a thing? But you'll need to prove yourself first. The army has a weapon shipment heading to the front. I'd like for it to not get there. Why don't you use your rank to see that it makes an unforeseen detour to, well, me? This a test of loyalty? Fine, if that's what you need. I gotta go. Then go. Hi. Lieutenant, how can I help you? Heard you have some merch coming into the station. Need a hand with the delivery? I might be a little brazen sometimes, but not enough to turn a lieutenant into my personal errand boy. Except that the shipment holds weapons, and if Vori get their hands on the weapons, it's gonna mean more danger for my boys. So let me give you a hand, in case not helping out ends up biting me in the ass down the line. Fair enough. 
Used to be Vori only dirty to slums, but they're like an illness lately, spreading like a contagion. Merce needs to make it up to the station and head out to the front. Thanks for the help. You already back, Lieutenant Zachariah? Mutants are back to work, Captain. Well done, Lieutenant. Now go see Ryan and get paid. Colonel Ian Manser came by looking for you. Hope this isn't going to be a habit, Lieutenant. His problems aren't yours anymore. You're part of my unit now. We clear? Of course. I'll go see him on my own time, not yours, Captain. Zachariah, a pleasure as always. What may I do for you? I found the mole. David Ward was running lines for the ASC. In these times, spies are everywhere. They used to be like rats, but now bear more resemblance to cockroaches. Should you see one, you can be certain a hundred more reside in the walls, each placed there while their arms were twisted by the ASC. So, what happened with this Ward? He's dead. As hard as it must have been to dispense of one of your own, no, it was for the best. A man's secrets die with him. Lieutenant, what can I do for you? I've got a weapons shipment from Quartermaster Ryan. He needs it sent to the front ASAP. Of course, Lieutenant. Will do. Hi. Lieutenant, how can I help you? Just letting you know, your order made it to the station and is headed out to the front as we speak. And I owe you one, Lieutenant. You don't know the firestorm that would have come down from high command if the Vori had gotten their hands on that shipment. Captain Eliza told me to come find you for my pay. Indeed, I've been expecting you. Here you go.
Lieutenant. I was told Dave Ward has gone AWOL. Any idea where he is? Sorry, Cap. I haven't got the slightest clue. I see. This is bad. I have no choice but to declare him a deserter. I'm afraid there'll be gossip that you can't earn the respect of your men, and the Army's reputation will take another hit. I warned you to keep your head down, Lieutenant. I don't know what you did, but Colonel Victor was having you tailed during your missions, and now he's got a shitload to say about it, and none of it's good. I tried defending you, but the things he's saying... According to the Colonel, the level of violence you're bringing is... making it difficult for the mutants to accomplish their repair work. I know it sounds absurd to reason with them instead, but we need them, and your tactics are slowing our progress. Captain, the only force I've ever used is reasonable. Sure, I shook a few down to make a point, but they were still on their feet when I was done with them. That's not what I've heard, Lieutenant. The more one lies, the deeper the pit they dig themselves. You following me? I suggest you take a different tact with the Colonel. Victor also states you voluntarily jeopardized the lives of the officials you were charged with protecting. Want to explain that? How do I explain something that's not... If I put those officials' lives in more danger, I'd have been risking my men's lives and mine as well. Why would I do that? And the claims that you've been hiding vital intel for the sole benefit of your fellow Technomancers. Like an important research site on the Shadow Path of Aurora that didn't even register a line item in your reports? Captain, the only thing I've ever done is accomplish the missions you gave me. Nothing more, nothing less. Never concealed anything, or had any other interest but abundances at the forefront. This is unfair. I know what you've accomplished. Also know what he's saying. And even if he's not a fan of Technomancers, that alone wouldn't motivate him to make all this up to frame you. And the list of accusations and the details is long. Like your report on the deserters. Less truth than lies. Almost more lies than ink. Never would have expected it from you, Lieutenant. Captain. If I was in your shoes, I'd feel the same. But take a step back. All those missions you sent me on, all the success I brought back to you. Whatever the Colonel's after, it's not about my actions. There's gotta be something else. I don't know, Lieutenant. I'm caught in the middle. And something in me feels there's more to it, too. Whether what he's saying is true or not, don't know what you did to piss him off. To make yourself his target, Technomancer or not. It's beyond me. Unfortunately, he's already called you in, and I can't stop it. All I can tell you is watch your mouth. Behave like the soldier you've been since you joined my company, and you'll come out just fine. I'll plead in your favor if it comes down to that. Let's just hope it doesn't. Get going. Colonel's waiting. Good luck. Zachariah, I was scared we were too late. For what? What's going on? There's no time to talk about it. You're in danger. Victor called you in, didn't he? Yeah, wants to talk to me about- No, he doesn't. It's a trap. It's just an excuse to get you there so they can arrest you. They will do whatever necessary to make you talk. I don't know what you Technomancers are hiding, but he's ready to do anything to find out. He's got power, but he wouldn't- Zach, listen to the girl. You stay away from that man. The crook, the, the, the pig- Thanks, Scott. You need to listen to us, Zachariah. I know it's hard to hear, but if you stay here, you're gonna die. Where would I even- We take a rover and go. The town's filled with ASC looking for you now, but I know a road that'll help us avoid most of the troops. Let's go, Zach. We need to go with the girl. No time to waste before that- that- that madman gets his hands on you. Now! 